Hello. I've been waiting for you. Hello, Mr. Parker. What can I do for you? Direct, to the point. You don't waste time. Thank you. What's the mission? Our environment has changed, Jessica. May I call you Jessica? That's my name, Mr. Parker. Today, information systems play a critical role in a company's performance. SOA, Service Oriented Architecture. It's on everyone's lips. The pioneers in this new technology have become more reactive and are winning decisive victories. You want to benefit from SOA? I'm counting on you to find out more. Our company can help you put SOA into place. It's our primary field of expertise and a challenge we can meet. You are the leaders in the field. I know, Miss Halo. Thank you. Here's your target. Your main competitor. The SOA has transformed it. Careful. Each company has its own story and must define its own goal and enterprise architecture. Then, and only then, is it able to develop a suitable SOA. We don't want to copy them. We only need to understand. To understand, one must go back to the beginning. Back in time into the very origins of their information systems. Where are we? The early 90s, at the birth of their information systems. What's that? It's a mainframe system, a service stuck in a rigid computer application. And there, data is generated and used. The problem with these strange things is that they breed. The system architecture gets more and more complicated with each new generation. Technological evolutions follow one after the other. The computerization of the company's processes leads to more and more applications. It's fatal. It's like a city that grows too fast. So you do know your stuff, Mr. Parker. Each business function operates independently. Rigidity increases. Look, the applications are talking to each other. Communication channels are opening up. Are you kidding? It's a mess. Look closely. Duplicated processes, inefficient use of data, cost overruns and losses at every stage, and it's so slow. They will not gain market share working like that. Oh no, a merger. The information system won't hold up. They made it nevertheless. Not without reviewing their enterprise architecture. Otherwise, it would be impossible. There, the SOA comes into play. Where did that SOA come from? That's the whole point of enterprise architecture and our ongoing task at Logica, building the future with you. You'll understand. This is your competitor's goal. The sum of all their objectives, the basis for their IT strategy. It's from these clearly outlined objectives that they were able to rethink, then redefine their operations, their procedures, and the architecture for their information systems. That's scary. Focus, Mr. Parker. This is their new enterprise architecture. Not bad. The mutation seems to happen in stages. It's their roadmap, all the phases they went through to reconstruct their system. They were able to reinvent themselves without impacting their business flow or altering the different business divisions. It works. Look. The company's prized asset, its data, is able to be shared efficiently across a broad range of applications and can be easily accessed. The services, which used to be dispersed and unnecessarily duplicated in each division, today are combined. Business services are available on demand to the orchestrator to create transverse business processes. Cost-effective, indeed. 
Because of interoperability, all departments speak the same language. Everyone communicates. From now on, nothing could be simpler than creating or further developing a department. Fast, I'll admit. But with all this transparency, what about security? Come on, Mr. Parker. On the contrary, the system has more control. Through its front-end applications, it can block access to confidential data and control authorized entries as a whole. Never before has the company had such control. So, what do you say, Mr. Parker? Mr. Parker? Mr. Parker? It's okay, Jessica. You can come back in now. Very impressive. That's nothing. SOA is more than just technology. Enterprise architecture allows us to rethink your strategy. Together, we target your goal, then identify the necessary changes, and create an appropriate roadmap. Don't limit your options. Instead, ask yourself where you want your business to be in tomorrow's world. Reactivity, performance, security, sustainable development, there are so many new challenges. Everything is possible. So tell me, Mr. Parker, where will you be tomorrow?